See? Did you see? Did anybody see? My name is Mallory, and I'm not a fan of cats. My name is Allison, and I hate cats. I haven't really had many great experiences with them. They're just kind of little jerks. They're not affectionate. They just wander around and cause allergies. They have attitude issues, and I don't dig it. <laughs> Crumbs and Whiskers is a cat cafe where we have about 20 rescue cats in the space. What we do is we grab them from LA's high kill shelters, bring them here so they can live here until they get adopted. I don't know what to expect. I might freak out a little bit. After these three days, I'd be really surprised if I ended up with one after this. Hi. Hi. Welcome to Crumbs and Whiskers. Thanks. Are so you excited? Um, a little nervous. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> We're gonna start you with some litter boxes. Oh, really starting at the top. <laughs> I feel like I'm panning for gold, but, <laughs> but the opposite. So always be careful when you're mopping to not get any of the cat toys. This is chemical, and we don't want that to come in contact with this. Okay, now it's time for me to feed these cats. There you go. Oops, sorry, kitty. There you go. Welcome to Crumbs and Whiskers. Okay, we have a chai. Thank you. Is there anything I should know in particular? Sassy cats are purple colored. Oh, well, those are going to be my favorite. This is it, huh? Just pet them. They don't really do much else. We're not handing out toys. We're, we're playing with them? Yeah. Oh, OK. Hello. So I had this one moment with this cat, Misty. At first, our moment is like just totally separate. She doesn't want to have anything to do with me. And then somebody told me, if you blink when you look at her, she'll be into it. I'm blinking at Misty pretty fast, and she's looking at me, and she blinks back. I feel like we communicated. Do you guys come to cat cafes a lot? We come here uh, two to three times a week. She's a patient, uh, cancer patient at Children's Hospital Los Angeles. Oh, so wow. A treat for being amazing. That seriously, like, broke my that to me was a really emotional moment that changed my perspective a bit about how cats can affect someone. Day two at the cat cafe. A lot of these cats are getting a lot more frisky than they were yesterday, a lot of sassy. So it's my second day here at the cat cafe and it's adoption day. Bye little one. She's purring, she likes you. Hey, mama. I'm having a little bit of a weird experience. I have made sort of a connection with one of the cats. I don't like usually feel a bond to cats, but I don't know, this this little girl has something special about her. She feels a bond towards you because she does not let people hold her. Today was different. I caught the attention of a certain cat here and she caught my attention. I wouldn't say it's gonna change my perception on liking cats in general, but definitely boggled my mind a little bit that I could feel connection to a cat. I'm a little bit emotional about Misty leaving. She was my only buddy. She came from a hoarding house, so she was living with like 30 other cats and now, She's like a completely different cat. Okay, Misty, you are officially in your forever home. Yay! It is the last day. I feel like I've had some pretty good moments with cats, but, uh, oh, oh, hello. So do you want to start introducing some cats to some people? Sure. <laughs> I would say if I was going to have to get a cat, it would be this one, because Sushi's the best. Karina, come here. She's the one that I've bonded with since I've been here. She is pretty awesome. Who's this? This one is Birdie. Do you have cats? Uh, no, I actually am not really a cat person. They're not super affectionate. I think you haven't met a snuggly cat yet. Cats teach us actually how to love in a way that dogs don't. You have to pay attention to how they want to be loved. Like this one doesn't really like you to touch down in this area. The tail starts whipping a little bit. Yeah. But I get in here and suddenly everything's fine. I will say they have grown on me a little bit over the past couple of days. This is Birdie. She was brought in by her owner who had kept her in a bathroom for a year. So she had a bunch of like dreadlocks and stuff on her and so they had to brush them all out. So now she really loves being brushed. She wants to get four of the kitty treats. I will get you the bag of kitty treats. She is actually pre-approved to adopt Karina. <gasps> chat to yeah. chat with her. Oh my god. She I so I don't know if you want to like my, talk my to Karina. <laughs> Yeah, she's awesome. 
Uh, Karina, I didn't expect to have a bond with a cat. <laughs> and seeing somebody else like so interested and who's already approved to take her home is kind of crazy. But I would be happy either way with her getting a good home. So she's an awesome cat and she deserves a good home. So. So it's the end of my three days here at the Cat Cafe. I think I definitely changed my opinion of cats. I don't want Karina to leave. In the beginning, I did not like cats. And I was so overwhelmed with how I felt about Karina today. I wouldn't say I'm a cat lady, but I will say that next time I encounter a cat, I'm gonna start petting it, and I think we're gonna have a good moment. The fact that I was crying over this cat was pretty significant in my book. I'm gonna fill out an application and try to adopt Karina. <laughs> oh, I can't believe that. <laughs>